Text wrapping, sometimes known as text flow, allows you to wrap text around objects, images, tables, and shapes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply, adjust, and ignore these options. I have here a series of linked text frames, as well as this image of an elephant. The elephant image is a PNG and has a transparent background. With this in mind, we're going to apply some text wrap settings to the image. When applying text wrapping, it's important to apply the wrap settings to the object, not to the text frame itself. So I'll select the elephant image using the move tool. I'll then access my text wrap panel by going to the extra panel section and selecting text wrapping. We have here a number of text wrap styles that we can choose from. With this image, I'm going to go ahead and choose the tight option. And we can see that the text is wrapped neatly around the image flowing nicely around the edges of the ears and tusks. The wrap to section below allows me to wrap my text to both sides of the text frame or just the larger side. In this example, I'm not going to make an adjustment to the wrap to settings, but I am going to adjust the distance from settings. Changing the distance from settings allows me to change the distance between the text and the wrapped image. So I'm going to increase the spacing in the left and right fields to around six millimeters. In doing so, we can see that my text has automatically repositioned itself to accommodate for the increased space. Clicking the lock icon here allows me to adjust the spacing evenly around the object. The elephant image is a good example of applying text wrap options to a PNG image that has a transparent background. If we scroll to the page below, we can see here that we have some text and a JPEG image, which has an opaque or solid background. Unlike the PNG image, if we apply a tight text wrap style, the text will disappear off the screen as it attempts to wrap to the edge of the image. Instead of applying a text wrap style from the text wrap panel, I'm going to use the edit wrap outline function. This will allow me to edit the text wrap outline manually. To begin with, the wrap outline uses the edge of the image as a reference. I can then reshape that edge by dragging and editing nodes. The wrap outline functionality uses the same node design as the pen tool. So I can insert a new node, adjust curves using handles, click directly on the line to add a new curve, as well as using straight and curved nodes. Everything you'd normally be able to do when using the pen tool. So I'm just going to work my way down, adjusting the edge of the wrap to nicely fit around the side of this jellyfish image. I can go back to my wrap settings and adjust the distance between the wrap outline and the text. If I turn off my preview mode, and go to my layers panel, we can see that two text frames have also been affected by the text wrap. In this case, I want the text frames to ignore the wrap outline. So I'll select the text frames by using shift on the command controller, and I'll go to my text panel, expand the text frame options, and choose ignore text wraps. These two text frames will now appear and ignore the wrap outline or any other wrap settings they encounter. Lastly, I'm going to scroll down one more page, and we can see here that I have a black rectangle and a white text frame, which is sitting in the middle of a three column text frame. I'm going to go ahead and select the frame itself, open my text wrap settings once more, and I'm going to apply a text wrap style to this text frame. I'm going to select the square wrap style. And in doing so, this will create a box running around the edge of my text frame, causing the three column text frame to flow around the original text frame. I can once again increase the spacing between my selected text frame and the three column text frame behind. And that's how to apply, adjust and ignore text wrapping in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.